Grab a seat around the fire, everyone. Welcome back to Undertale. Um, it's been a while. I I haven't played because I thought it'd be a good idea to you know space them out a little bit. But as you see, here's the screen menu. I forgot I haven't like actually showed you the little title screen thing. We got Toriel reading a book and she seems happy. And Sans and Papyrus over there in the corner. So let's continue. Let's. Let's do this. Oh, it just throws you right back in. Last time we left off, we were, um, we just, like, saved on dying, I guess? But she, like, walked away. No, that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to call Papyrus to see if he has anything for me. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hmm. A mysterious science house. The signs outside says lab. Lab? Like, laboratory. Lab. Badori. <laughs> Does that mean there's <laughs> there are dogs inside? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> oh god. Sorry, Undying like told us there was totally a human in the area, so like us royal guards are blocking the elevators for now. Yeah, even when the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undying. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, speaking of that, I wonder if that giant house we saw in the other episode was her house. Because didn't Papyrus say he wanted to hang out? We should go hang out. Welcome to Hotland. It's a long walk from here to that house, though. I might actually have to cut this. We will find out. Why is there, like, there we go. What is this thing? It's a box, presumably to be pushed. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. Yes, but where... Okay, where do I push it? Oops. Can I call someone? Maybe Papyrus has answers about the box. This is where the us elder puzzler likes to stand. Block pushing, key gathering, tedious agony. It's important to respect our roots. I see. Are you are you the are you the elder puzzle? Bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that actioning, mindless Sherlock. It's just time-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still have hope. <laughs> Here. Try solving this block pushing puzzle. Uh, I tried earlier. What? What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation's really hopeless. You didn't even give me you give me hope, you old Goomba looking man. Bah, never mind. Well fine. Never mind to you too. Ah I can't move. There we go. Okay. Up, up, um. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. I gotta go all the way back. Do, 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 do. Put that on, please. Thank you. Oh, gotta go this way. This really is a long run. Ah, uh, don't worry, I can still see. there. Wait, could I have taken a boat? I'll just use that. Ba, 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 ba. I think it was, it was this one. Yeah, I made it. Ooh. I knew. 
knew it. What? 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 It's a living. Alright, Papyrus, what do you got for me? Oh, ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undying? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Uh, yeah. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Oh, hey, you're out of your armor. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Oh. You bet I am! And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Dot dot dot. More dots. Even more dots. Why don't you two come in? Talk about awkward. Wow! Dying, you got a nice house. Here, Undying. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh... Thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the rest of- with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie days! Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. You two have fun! Papyrus don't just- <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Jumps out the window. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Oh. Then why are you here? Dot, 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 exclamation point. Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Really? That was easy. Let's frolic in the- oh, you're being sarcastic. Let's frolic all- let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why, why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my if you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be friends. Be your friend. That's close. Now get out of my house. Dang. What a shame. I thought Undying could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's not just up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> Is that a laugh? I think so. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't even be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Dot dot dot. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Hold on, Nandai. I'm looking at one time. Alphys, uh, Alphys's uh, friend came over here. All he did was fly seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Huh. I wonder who Al who Alphys is. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. In the sink, there's a teacup in the shape of a fish. This is the oven. It, this oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food. Nothing beats home-cooked. Nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Isn't that what Toriel did? You're so right on there. There's silver in the drawer. It has forks, spoons, and knives. Tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. <laughs> Look inside the bone door? Yes. I knew it. Ding! I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge. What's the world's greatest invention? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. In case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans build swords up to ten times their size, right? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. 
When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. And you figured out... She figured out the spec color herself. She's smart, huh? Who's Alphys? Well, technically, we kind of did. You know, those two horned swords? I wouldn't say they were ten times bigger than us, but they were, like, pretty big. Can I talk to you? Can I call Papyrus while at her house? Ring, ring. There's no response. That's too bad. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Okay. Sit down and progress? Uh, not quite yet. I want to go see if you have anything to say about the window. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he just nails the landing. This is not the first time he's leapt through your window. That's fun. Sit down and progress. Alright, yeah, already. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what- is that mustard? All set. What would you like? Ah! Hey! Don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point what you want? You can use the spear. What? <laughs> oh, it's soda. Hot chocolate. Uh, tea. Fridge. Everything here. I can't believe you can point to undying. Yeah, I'm gonna. I want you. An acquired taste. Believe me, I would gladly give you full of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. <laughs> you. Zing! You fun. Uh, how about some tea? Tea, huh? Coming right up. I'll write hot tea, because you like hot stuff. Okay, it's all done. Thank you, Undying. I love me some tea. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Oh, it's a t it's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. You're really struggling with this undying. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you choose that tea. It is golden flower tea. Oh, that's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, I tried to prove I was the strongest, and I tried to fight Asgore. Empathis untried. <laughs> I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and then from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. It, I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud of their getting their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm one of the one... I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Oh, that's like his dream. Don't tell him I said that. No, I won't. I won't either crush his dreams like that. Well, he's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's just actually pretty freaking, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into... <laughs> he'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That part... 
that's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Click link. Oh, sorry. I was taking talking so for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Um, wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And he's not going here to have it. You'll have to have it for him. I will. Oh. Okay. 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 That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become even closer than he can ever, can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. What? In vegetable vegetables, your greatest enemy. Now, pound him in the dust with your fists. She's so full of energy. Uh, yeah, just whale him. Whale him, we'll even be closer just like that. Yeah, yeah. The hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. All made noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them in the pot. Fiercely put them in the pot. You throw everything, you throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. And the general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press Z. I'm pressing Z repeatedly. Stir harder. Okay. Harder. I, I'm doing my best. I'm dying. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove talk symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hold right to turn up the heat. Okay. I'm turning up the heat. It's getting hot. I'm doing my best. It's, on, it's already on fire. It's already on fire. I'm doing my best. <laughs> We're gonna burn your house down at this rate. Wait, that's too... My bad. Uh man. No wonder <laughs> no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. My teacup is still okay. So what's next? Scrapbooking, friendship bracelets? Dot dot dot. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. That's true. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. What? 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 I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. I'm dying is letting you make the first attack. But, okay, maybe I can attack. Fake attack? Okay, I'll fake you out. You pretend to swing and I die with all your might. Oh, I hit her. I didn't, did I just mess up? What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking me at full force? You can't muster... You you can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you know what? I actually don't want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... S s stick. <laughs> but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't... Just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. 
It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, someone, some mean human will fall down here, and I can take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls and cross the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, <laughs> Well, that was fun, huh? Well, we'll have to hang out again. <laughs> well, we'll have to hang out again another time, but, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Well, see you later, punk. Why, SpongeBob? Why didn't you just finish your homework? I could still- sounds like the only fire lives here now. Poor house. Uh, I should probably save. That was quite eventful. You feel calm, tranquility. You're filled with determination. Alright, so now I have to work my all the way back to- Wait, no, yeah. No, I don't. I can just go down here when I w was going to- Yeah, you. Hey, buddy. Tra-la-la! I'm the Riverman. Or am I the river woman? Doesn't really matter. I love to ride my boat. Would you like to care to join me? Ride the boat? Okay. Where would you ride today? See, I knew it. Okay. Um, take me to Hotland, please. Then we're off. Isn't Hotland to the right? I mean, I guess we can go to the left. Tra-la-la! What's inside an acorn? It's real really just a mystery. It really is indeed just a mystery. Thank you. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place filled like this, you are filled with determination. Can I call Undying and tell them to move her royal guards? Ring ring. Ring ring. What? Royal guards are blocking the way? Then I'll tell them to. Well, nothing, I guess. I already told them to seek out and destroy you, and I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. You see, Alpha showed me these anima animations about uh, humans, so I can learn their weakness, and one of them is about this human that, uh, well, suffice to say, they can control people's minds. Surprised? I know you're kind of hidden power. Anyway, I told my crew that if they ever if I ever defeated a human... Oh, defeated a human, I must be under some kind of mind control. And I have to disregard everything I told to them. So, sorry, but my hands are tied. Well, by the way, animation is really good. So like... Oh, so... Uh... Hello? What the crap is this? It's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see near the wall. Okay. Hello? Oh, hello there. Lights are on. You're like a lizard dinosaur thing. Oh. My. God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Who are you? Um... <laughs> Hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. Oh, you're Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, but, uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey here console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, so, oh, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know the right way to Asgore Castle. No problem. Da, da, da. Well, actually, um, there might just be a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. 
Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. I, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small particle adjustments, practical adjustments, like um, anti anti human combat features. Uh, uh, of course. When I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a hasty mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Yeah, hopefully. We're gonna run into him. He's coming down the hallway, isn't he? Did did you hear something? Yeah, he's like right behind you, Alphys, isn't he? Uh oh. Uh, oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. Is he, are you like an actual robot? You're you look like that thing that Papyrus tried to use when he was at that weird puzzle thing. Today's quiz show! I don't know if I should- Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone come, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Uh, Alphys? Okay. Da -da -da. What is this song? I love it. Cry. Maybe I should check. Metaton. Nine. Jeez. His metal body rendered is invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. Okay. What is the prize for answering correctly? I get to live? Alphys, you're gonna help me cheat. Okay. Cheating is not good, damn we cheat people, but in this case, I'm trying to live. What happens if I cry? Screaming you get through. Aw. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore, right? Dreamer. The quiz show continues. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Quiz show continues. Here's another one for you. Two trains, a train A and train B, simultaneously depart in a station. Train A, train A is B, C. Two purpose and has it. Uh, D. Wonderful. I'm outstanding, folks. Don't count your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Fifty-four. Correct. You are so lucky today. Let's play a memory game. What monster is it? That's a frogget! I know that one. Ow! 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 Oh! That was... I should've just listened to Alpha. Can't, but can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? It. Here's a simple one. How many layers in the name Metaton? Of course, that was easy for you. Quick show continues. Time to break out the big guns. In a dating simulation video game, you and your kid kiss and you and your favorite food. Alphys? And she buys the ice cream for all of her friends, but the snail flavor one is the only one she wants, and it's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping the contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Do you have a crush on someone? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, why is I'm dying? Oh, oh, wait. 
Uh, Undying was talking about you as a thing, and then you come over often. So, maybe you two have a thing for one another? See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls on the name of margins on her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories that have done together. She's sharing a domestic life. Probably a turd. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> so it would make it 100%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Elvis helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but... But... This was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. That was exciting. Well, that was certainly something. We're just not going to talk about that. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait! Let me give you my, my phone number. Then, m maybe, if you need help, I could... But, where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. W wait a second, please. What the... Oh, okay. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, and it's got a keychain. Even signed you up for the underground number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I'm, di I'm, I'm dying. Office, you're a little shy. You have, like, anxiety issues. It's okay, don't worry. Take instant noodles. You'll get there. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle and snowman. It's a garbage can. But it, it, it's pretty cute. Oh, maybe if I call him dying. Eh, eh. Ring, ring. You're at Alphys's lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And wait, no, don't ask any of that. Oh, you two like each other. Is this actually the restroom? It's bathroom site. Hey, knock, knock. The elevator tapping behind the door. Where do I go? Can I go through here? No, I don't want to go through there just yet. I don't want to go this way either. Oh. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these are labeled human history. Read one? Sure. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. It doesn't strike you as very accurate. Oh, you got comics and like... There are VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside the book. It's a comic book. Two scaly clad chiefs are fighting energy pancakes at a... Or flinging energy pancakes. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside the book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is ruining... Running to school with toast in its mouth. It seems like it's late. It doesn't seem very accurate. Pink food drops from the strange machine. What is this? Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dusty lab coats and a single clean dress. Going out to town, Alphys? There are letters from many monsters here. Froggin, Snowy, Doggo. They're all all opened. It's a lamp with a pink fish and lamp stare. There's no light bulb. It's an incredible invention. When not in use, this bed floats extremely... Folds into an extremely easy box drawer. That 
kind of looks like Ooh, that's the same, that poster, not this one I'm looking at, but the one next to the box thing on the flap. Says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. That reminds me of some sort of show that I used to watch when I was young. Ha, uh, can't remember it. Outfits, are you here, Seal? So I noticed that I have this access to. No, no, no. I have access to. Boxes. Okay. I don't need this anymore. That was god awful useless. Oh, no. The space behind the wall, only a few feet wide. So I do have to go this way. See, that's why I didn't go that way. Wait. Okay. Off we go then. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undying Fight a Human. Sad face. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable, so I'll ask her later. Happy face. Alpha's updated status. From now on, I gotta call the human up and guide them. Kitty, happy face. Oh. We're in a new area. Oh, God. Oh, fight time. A Vulcan st strolls in. You seem very happy. I'm gonna encourage you. It's doing a great job. Its attacks become extremely... Ah, uh, does my best. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Ah, no, 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 calm down. Oh, good. <sighs> Jesus. I already need to heal. Oh, you eat the dog salad. Oh, it tastes yappy. Your egg tree was maxed out. Thank you. Alpha Cup did sound. Gotta call them any minute now. Uh, this way. The sound of the stream and cause fills you with determination. Magma chamber. Man. Alpha's updated status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, man. <laughs> Aw, she's still, like, she, she is still showing me anxiety. The, the plane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. You get close to this thunder plane, but not too close. Eh? Human? Ah. ah! Wait. Da da Smells like an airport perfume counter. I can spare now. Okay. Uh. Okay. Whee! Oh god, it's one of these puzzles. Whee! Ah, I'll take the steps. Oh my god, I have a claw over. I had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Just do it. I'll pick up. I'll be happy to talk to you about this. The frying pan? This way. There's a frying pan laying on the ground. Will you take it? I assume this is a weapon. Red pan. Damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal four more HP. Wouldn't that be? I mean, I should put it on just because it heals me. And I can throw this stick away. You bid a quiet farewell to the stick. Gotta double check. Ah, what was that? Alright. Come on, Sammy. We gotta get out of this. I can see why they call this place Hotland. This game is full of fun. Boom. Ring, ring. Ring. Click. Whoever is calling, hang up before you answered it. Aww. What is this? Ring. Uh, hi. So, the blue 
lasers. Uh, I mean, office here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Or orange ones. Um, your your move. You have to move. Be moving, and they um won't um move through those ones. Uh, bye. Oh my god, I did it! Pause. Pause as I'm shipping like that since the dying called me to ask about the weather. Oh. Alright, keep moving. Don't move. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? I she wanted to hear your voice. Go to the right one first. Alright, go into the right one then. Oh, look at these chill dudes. I wonder if it would be unfun to explain the puzzle to them. The way the works blocks, so I had time to catch Manicon's show on the phone. The special effects were amazing today. That humans almost looked real. Manicon? Yeah. He's one of the most popular stars in the underground. His fan club is probably a uh, two. No, three does. Oh yeah. What are you? The door leading to the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. They kept running out of ammo, and it keeps restarting. My two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't want to even want to go to work. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Ship, move the boxes to complete your mission. Hey, 
Hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh... You already saw them? Awesome! Click. Uh, the floor texture changed. Uh... Ring. Hey, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. I'm in a kitchen. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties, to the underground premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer pet robot. <laughs> Preheat your oven because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All we need is sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Okay. You found eggs. You found the milk. You found the sugar. Medicine. MTT met brand microwave. Origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in the microwave on high for five minutes. Roasting, toasting, burning, and carring. You'll be excited, aren't you, darling? Trademark. Milk, eggs, and the bridge. No way, darling. They get cold. Yeah, just here in Holland. Okay. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. Now we got all the ingredients we need to bake a cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, what a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Oh my god. A human soul. Ah! I can't move. Ring ring. Hello. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait wait a second. Could, could, couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use... Couldn't you make a substitution for the recipe? A substitution? Oh, you mean a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's vegan? Vegan. Uh, well, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul's favorite substitute. We can, eh, a can of which is just an account over in that counter. Why is that all? Why? Well, darling, why don't you go get it? <laughs> what? By the way, our show runs on a secret, a strict schedule. If you can't get up there in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. What? Why not? <sighs> Ring. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. But, but fortunately, I have, might have a plan. You bring the counter down? When I was upgrading your frown, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says "Jet Back." <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> there. You should have enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, what? You didn't say you were going to be throwing things at me. How is that fair? What, what, is, what, what? Stop throwing, what are you throwing at me, flower? Uh, oh, you're throwing the ingredients at me. That's not fair. Stop. Uh, don't throw eggs at me. You look rotten. Ah, uh, more flour. Ow, ow, I slowed down. Oh god, oh god, I slowed down a lot. Make it there in time. Come on, come on, come on. Fly! Fly! Ah, oh, the eggs. The flower's the hardest one to dodge. I'm almost there. I made it to the top. Whew! I got real scared there for a second. My, my. 
It seems you've bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think what would have happened if you were without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen cooking shows before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Ring. Wow, we... we did it. We... we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyways, let's keep heading forward. Click. Well then. And a safe spot. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. I'm having a fantastic time. I hope you guys are having a fantastic time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!